What's going on, primary school, intermediate school, parents, whoever, world, good morning, how are you doing? Uh, welcome to our third or fourth PE period. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a warm-up through an app called Swerk It. Uh, Swerk It is one of my favorite exercise apps. Uh, sometimes I'll throw it out in the morning. Sometimes I'll do it before I go to sleep and do some yoga. Uh, it is a free app that I highly recommend. Uh, so we are here right now, uh, going to be doing some Swerk It Kids. Now, why do we warm up? What's the number one reason why we warm up? If all of us remember, it's so we do not get injured, okay? So just like a video game or a phone or a tablet or your computer right now, you can't just open it up and get going right? You got to press the power button. It slowly turns on and then you can start, start using it. Our bodies are very similar. When we wake up in the morning, uh, our bodies are, are kind of still asleep, right? Our heart hasn't been beating very fast. It's been very slow. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of blood flowing throughout our bodies. So we have to warm it up. We have to gradually uh, get ready to do our sport or our exercise. So we warm up uh, so we do not get hurt. Okay. Then why do we exercise, right? Why do we exercise? Well, exercising, uh, has a ton of good benefits, right? Number one makes your heart healthier. Uh, how many hearts do you get ever? Usually you just get one. Okay. So you really need to make sure that you are taking care of your hearts and we are always, Sorry. We are rescheduling for Friday. There you go. Fire drill uh, would be happening in going. school today, so no but it's going to happen on Friday. Thank you. No big deal. Um, okay. Anyways, exercising. We have to make sure that our heart stays healthy. We only get one. Also our lungs, right? And then when we work out and exercise, our muscles get a little bit stronger. So when you put on a backpack, right? And it might feel kind of heavy after you exercise for a while, maybe from first grade to second grade, put on your backpack and it might feel a little bit lighter, right? And it's going to be easier to carry around. Um, lots of great benefits from exercising. Exercising if you're in a bad mood and you get going and you exercise, your mood might change. Exercise has been shown to make you happier. If you have trouble sleeping at night, uh, exercise during the day. Uh, anytime really and then you should be able to sleep a little bit easier too so a lot of great benefits to exercise all right so we're at swerk it you can come here create a free account do all the exercises you want try and get your whole family involved i've seen youtube videos of dogs and cats doing yoga who knows maybe you could do some yoga with your pet at home here we go swerk it kids all right so there's a definitely a ton of different videos you could watch okay so uh we have narrow strength for kids so that would be like a lot of push-ups and a lot of squats we have agility agility is good for people that want to be faster runners agility is also good for your brain because it makes you move in different ways your brain's not used to so agility is just moving faster. Flexibility, that would be a lot of butterfly stretches and sit and reach and, and really, really great stuff. Warm up, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, cool down, it's kind of just like stretching and some breathing exercises. And then stand up and move is kind of a mix of everything. Okay, so I would encourage you to create a free account and come check out the different videos that we have here. All right, but it's going to go to a warm up. And we are going to do warm up for kids. So we select workout. And then for today, uh, we are going to be doing an eight minute workout. You can go all the way to an hour. Fun stuff. Okay. But for today, we're just going to come around and we are going to do eight minutes. Okay, they're going to show you videos of every exercise to do. So please follow along with each exercise. Get some tunes going in the background if you want. I'm just going to hit begin workout. 
Here we go. And Let's we're going to start out with out. toe touches. Okay. Laying toe touch. Laying toe touch. Begin. Fantastic. Lay on your back with your okay. arm and legs pointing to the ceiling. Then lift there your you head go. and shoulders up to try and touch mm. your feet with your hands. So you're going to start out by doing these. Okay, I'll do it with you guys. All right. So you're laying on your back. Get your toes in the air. And you just want to try. Next exercise. Keep going. Push-ups. Ooh, we all love some push-ups. If you need to go on your knees, Three, two, that's totally fine. One. Push-ups. Oh, you're doing some push-ups. Please don't go as fast Begin. as him. Okay, that's pretty quick. Start you face your down on your hands and toes. Hands just wider than shoulders. Bend your elbows and lower down towards the floor. Straighten your arms to push yourself back up. Keep your body straight, like a plank. You can go regular or you Next can go like exercise. These. Power circles. Three, two, one. Power circles. Sweet. These ones are a nice little break one. Begin. Stand with good Stretching posture. out your shoulders. Make circles with your arms in a backward direction. You can go forwards and backwards. Make sure we're going slow and we're really stretching our shoulders out. Good job. You guys are crushing it. Next exercise. What a beautiful morning. Spider-Man lunge. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Three, two, one. Spider-Man lunge. <laughs> Love me. Start face down on your hands and toes. Step your left foot outside your left hand. Then step back and step your right foot outside your right hand. Slinging some webs. Good job, friends. Awesome. Next exercise. Walking on heels. Ooh, that sounds fun. Three, two, one. Walking on heels. Walk on those heels. Stand up and lift your toes off the floor so you are balancing on your heels. Then walk forward balance and on backwards your heels. without letting your toes touch the floor or losing your balance. Whoa! Pretend you're on a balance beam, maybe? Maybe you're on a tie rope in the circus? Next exercise. Bridge Whoa. march. Bridge march. Fun. Three, two, one. Bridge march. Notice their Begin. lower back is off Lie the ground. Face with your legs bent, feet to the floor. Lift your hips up and keep the high while you lift one foot up and out. There you go. Alternate each leg. Marching our way to fitness. Marching our way to health. Keep the back off the ground. Marching. Next exercise. Up. Up. Walk on toes. Up. 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 Three, two, one. Walk on toes. There we go. Walking on toes. Begin. Same thing, Step like we're in the circus. Up off the floor so you are balancing on your toes. Then walk forward and backward without letting your heel touch the floor or losing your balance. Drive one foot in front of the other. Pretty fun to try and walk backwards too. Next exercise. We try and cross Three, your feet. Two, one. Calf raise. So this is actually called a calf raise because Stand there's a muscle in the back of your leg called the calf. Up onto your toes and lift your heels up as high Keep as you can. And down. Lower slowly and repeat. Hi. You want to try and challenge and do five on one foot and then switch feet and Next five on the other foot. Scorpion. Oh, yeah. up, up, up. Three, two, one. Scorpion. All right, Scorpion, you land on your face. There we go. Good job. Lift your left foot and roll your hips over to touch your left foot to the floor by your right side. 
Swimming in a pool, you want to kind of go nice and slow. Nice exercise. Tap your foot on the other side. Fuck. Three, two, one. Dead bug. Dead bugs. My favorite. Please work on your abs. Lie down face up and keep your lower back on the floor. Lower your right leg and your left arm towards the ground. Return them to the middle. And swap arms and legs. Opposite leg every time you do this. Next exercise. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Shoulder roll. Because your brain is not used to doing these exercises. Three, two, one. Shoulder roll. Begin. Shoulder roll. Stand with your arms bent by your sides. Roll your shoulders backward in big circles, then change direction and roll them forwards. There you go. Stretching out your shoulders, Next getting exercise. me to be learn all day. Left. This Three, next one's a challenging two, one. One. Side side. Left. Begin. Lie on your right side, propped up on your right elbow under your right shoulder. Lift your hips up so your body is in a straight line from your head to your feet. I know it kind of burns a little bit, but it's great. It's great. Make sure you have a space right here. And your Next hips exercise. are off the ground. Side plank. Right. Six seconds left. You're almost there. Good job. Three, two. One. All right, side we're plank switch. right. Begin. Lie on your left side, propped up on your left elbow, on your left shoulder. Lift your hips up so your body is in a straight line from your head to your feet. Straight line. It's all good. Only 11. 10. Next exercise. Overhead arm clap. Count down with me. Five, four, three, two, one. You're almost done. You only have a minute and a half left. Begin. Stand up with a one stance and arms out at shoulder height. Palms. Giving you a round of applause. Round of applause. Keep Ray. your arms straight as you clap above your head. Good job. Clap out. Next exercise. We I have need two left. Three, two, one. High nice. March. High march. Up, two, three, four. Begin. Put Start standing. Up. March on the spot, bringing your knees up to hip height. Get them up high. As lift your left leg, swing your right arm up and cross, then swap arm and legs. Keep marching. Good job. Your last exercise is reach and pull. This one's fine. Three, two, one. Reach and pull. All right, so we're going to reach and pull. Reach Begin. and pull. Stand with one foot in front of the other. It's like you're flying reach around your the room. Arms up and pull your elbow back past your Maybe side. You're super Superman, Superwoman, Captain Marvel, Wonder Woman. You're going into, you're going to go fly and save the world. Good job. Way to go. Fist strong. Five, four, three, three, two, one. Congrats, you fished. Hooray! We finished our first crazy workout of e-learning way to go good job we're going to talk about some other things with our workout just now uh so you share this workout right when you have it yourself but let's go to my workout. so check it out here's today i have a new swarm up with uh 
all my classes yesterday and today. So it was a little bit rainy outside yesterday. If you check it out, you guys burnt the most calories because we did the longest workout. My classes in school were doing seven minutes. This time we did eight minutes and we burned 46 calories. That's right. You guys crush it. So you might hear who you live with at home talk about calories. Calories is on every food label if it's in a wrapping. Um, you can check it out. It'll have a spot that says calories. So what are calories? Well, we eat them uh, in fruits, vegetables, chicken, salmon, uh, tacos, yum, yum, whatever you eat right in your mouth, uh, it's gonna, it has calories in it. Same thing when you drink things, uh, except for water, but everything else has calories in it, and we need calories for energy. So calories, is just going to say, is energy, okay? So when you exercise, you use some of that energy, okay? So uh, that's why it's important to eat healthy foods because that's how you get energy. And then once you have calories or energy in your body, you can use them, right? And you can work out. Um, maybe you could go gymnastics. Maybe you walk up and down the stairs. Maybe you walk around the house. To do anything, you need calories. So eating healthy uh, is super duper important. So we just burned uh, 46 calories. So what is 46 calories? 46 calories could be like 18 carrots. Um, it could be a serving, maybe like a couple strawberries, like eight strawberries. Um, it could be a bite of, you know, chicken. Who knows, right? But it's good stuff. So 46 calories. Now, after you work out, it's also super important to, there's the bell, super important to uh, do some breathing exercises too, okay? Very important to do some breathing exercises to kind of calm our breath down. So we're going to check out this Go Needle video. Uh, here we go. We can use our bodies to change how we feel. This exercise will teach you how to raise your energy and face your day. Close your eyes or keep them open. Have fun with it. Have fun with it. Sit tall. You can be on the ground with your legs crossed. Or sitting at the front edge of your chair with your feet flat on the floor. Your arms hang down at your side. Open and close your hands a couple times to warm up your body. Now turn palms of your hands so that they're facing forward and stretch your fingers long. Keeping your arms straight, slowly float them up from your sides. Feel how wide your hands can reach to the side and then up. Reach a little higher if it feels okay for your body. Now let your arms come out and return to This time, if we match our breathing with our movement, it might help us to feel more alert, calm, more energized, and in control. Notice how you feel when you add your breath to your movement. Turn your palms out and reach wide for a big rainbow. Fill with air the whole way up. And if you need to take another breath at any time, go ahead. Do that. It's all good. Once your arms are up, go ahead and exhale. And relax up there. Enjoy the rainbow. has faded away. Let's make another one and come down. Breathe in and get ready. Breathe out and see the rainbow form as your arms flow down to your sides. Let's do that two more times. Arms go wide and with your breath. Come down with your out breath. Pause 
possible. Stand up for your next rainbow breath. Get your palms out. Raise your arms up slowly with your rainbow. Reaching wide, reaching tall. Let your arms come down with a slow exhale. Maybe try one more on your own. Your eyes can be open or closed. It's your choice. Exercises on GoNews.com. All right, so that is one of my favorite videos. Um, sometimes when I'm kind of having a, a crazy day, maybe I'm late for school, maybe I have to go somewhere that I might not really want to go, like the dentist, maybe. I might try one of these breathing exercises to kind of calm me down, especially maybe before a test or before a big assignment. I know my heart beats kind of fast. I'm a little bit nervous about big tests sometimes. So I try breathing sometimes. So give it a try. Uh, next time you're feeling a little bit stressed out and uh, see how you feel afterwards. There's plenty of options on Go Noodle. Uh, strength and focus, be kind to yourself, leave anxiety. Uh, a lot of really, really cool videos to really help us. Uh, you know, be a little happier sometimes. It's totally okay to be sad sometimes, but if you feel like you're trying to get out of that funk, uh, maybe that would be a good option to try and do. Okay, so today we talked about exercise, why we exercise, why we warm up. We got to it, crushed a great workout, did a little bit of uh, meditation and breathing exercises, and you friends are ready to crush the day. All right, so give me an air five. Two times, air knuckles explode. Ah, you guys are doing great. Uh, I'll see you guys at school and, and have a great day.